Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. If you're new around here, it would be really nice to see you as a subscriber to the channel. That helps me out a lot and that gives you all the content that I'm going to be putting out in the upcoming weeks and months. It's been a while since I made a video about the Dell Inspiron 15 7000. I made about 25 videos about it so far and now it's finally time for another one of these videos. Right now I am updating the firmware and the BIOS of the laptop. Two days ago, the 9th of March, a new BIOS update was released for Dell 7590 and 7591. So let's have a look at what is in this BIOS update and if it makes any difference to how the computer operates. We are now on the Dell Inspiron 7590 support page. And as you can see here, when we sort by date, we can find this Dell Inspiron 7590, 7591 and Vostro 7590 system BIOS. It says it's an urgent update to BIOS that was released the 9th of March 2020. If we look at the details, it says this package contains Dell system BIOS updates. This update addresses the Intel security adversaries, Intel SA and then onwards. A security adversary is a statement when a product is impacted by a security vulnerability and a remedy is available. So basically this is a security update to BIOS and probably it won't make any big difference to how the computer is operating. But I'm going to download it and install it and then we'll see if there is any difference I can notice afterwards. When doing the BIOS and firmware update, you get the option to suspend BitLocker encryption. This I really recommend that you tick because if you don't, then you have to dig out your BitLocker number and log into your Microsoft account to be able to get your BitLocker key and then access your operating system. So make sure that you suspend the BitLocker encryption because otherwise it's a big hassle. Just scroll down and click update. And then after it has installed, you need to reboot the system for it to properly install. I have now been using this new BIOS for about 24 hours and it has been working pretty well. For the first few hours when I had installed it, I thought that the fans were running a little bit louder than they were before that. After I've used it a bit more, I have to conclude that it works pretty much exactly the same as it used before. I was right now checking it on uh, Core Temp and we have uh, 43, 41, 44 on the different cores there. Idle, or in this case, I actually have both uh, like five Chrome tabs open as well as DaVinci Resolve and Spotify. And we're still at a very silent state with about 41, 42, 43 degrees on the different CPU cores. Hopefully this BIOS fixes whatever the security issues was that it was supposed to fix. And except that, it seems to be working as normal. That is everything for now, and I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>